Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to address something that I feel like is being talked about a little bit more in the writing community and like just the creative community in general, but I feel like it needs to be discussed more because I feel like it can never be discussed enough. And that is mental health when it comes to writing. So I was in the shower, as you can tell from my appearance, where I tend to do a lot of my, like just thinking and reflecting about my life. I either do that in the shower or while I'm journaling and my cat decided to jump in this box and drive me nuts. It's kitty time, it's kitty time. Talk about good mental health, just. Just pet your animal, it'll make you feel better. Hi! He likes playing with my hair, it's probably pretty gross because he goes in his litter box, but I don't care, it's so cute. As I said in my last writing vlog video, today I had a very specific video that I was going to record to upload for today, and it didn't happen. This wasn't the one. I actually almost didn't record a video for today, and then I decided that this was something I wanted to talk about, and it's kind of the reason why I didn't upload a video. Well, I wasn't recording a video for today, so I felt like it needed to be discussed. And instead of me stalling, I should just talk about it. A lot of times when it comes to writing and mental health, I've noticed like on Twitter and Instagram, when people give this advice that I don't agree with, I saw someone in particular a few weeks ago say on Twitter, I don't remember who it was, and I wouldn't tell you anyway, I'm not trying to call anybody out, but there's this like thing where people say like, if you're not excited with your manuscript anymore, it's not the right manuscript for you, you should move on and work on something else that does excite you. And I think that's a really actually, not dangerous way of thinking, but a, a counterproductive way of thinking when it comes to creative works and just mental health in general. I suffer from severe depression as well as anxiety and I also have some health issues that kind of play into my mental health issues as well. They kind of like exacerbate it. I find myself often kind of being fed up with the manuscript while I'm working on it. The thing is I can love a manuscript and be so excited and want to finish it and like want people to read it and like be excited and like bah. But at the same time I can hate it. I don't want to work on it. Meow. And I think that if I gave into this thought of only you should work on manuscripts that you love, that I would never get anything done. I think that while there are certain degrees of mental health, like if you are severely depressed and thinking about harming yourself and things like that, I think you should reach out and get help. If I'm just like, ha like if I'm like going through like a week where I just hate my manuscript and I don't want to work on it, I don't think that I should give up on it and move on to a next project that excites me because it could just be me having a shitty week. It could be me having a shitty mental health week. And I think that if I gave into that mindset, of moving on to the next project, uh, I would do that like day one because even if I'm having a bad mental health week, like a new project is like this exciting spark in my life that I could be like, yes, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is I would move on and I wouldn't go back to that old manuscript. Don't get me wrong. If you hate a project, if you're working on it and you're absolutely miserable writing it and you know for a fact that that is not gonna change and it has nothing to do with your mental health, then yes, I think you should move on. You do come to a point where you have to recognize when it's time to move on to a new project, which I have done. You watch my old writing vlogs. I put aside the witch book. I put aside other books and different manuscripts to move on to something that I knew I would have more of like a full force excitement to work all the way through. I just, I don't, I feel like I'm rambling and it's not making a lot of sense, but I just feel like this is a really dangerous way of thinking is to like abandon things that don't excite you because when you're someone that suffers from anxiety and depression or just any mental health issue, the thought of like leave behind whatever doesn't excite you and move on to something new in any capacity in your life can be very dangerous. There are times where I get sick of everything in my life. Like I don't want to play video games for this week. I don't want to draw. I don't want to, in the thought of like abandoning that to move on to something else that excites you, you're always chasing this new high. I feel like it's a very dangerous way of, of living. I'm not saying that you should hold yourself up by your bootstraps because I hate that way of thinking, especially when it comes to mental health, especially when it comes to mental health because mental health isn't so pull yourself up. Like it is an actual like chemical imbalance in your brain and it can't be that easily overcome. <sighs> So I hate that way of thinking and I don't, I'm not saying that, like I'm not saying you should just weather through it. If like, again, like I said earlier, if it gets something really serious, I think you should hundred percent reach out and get help. Like, I don't think that you should have to go through things alone. It's always good to have a support system, whether that be in real life or like even just friends online or just family, you know, significant other, whatever, you should always reach out and have support. I feel like I'm just rambling about mental health, you know? I just have like a lot of strong feelings about this. And I, I think that a lot of people in the writing community lately and the art community, uh, like I said, like on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram have this really strange way of thinking about it that to me says like, you never had to deal with this. And if you have, like, I don't, I think that you should revisit this because ignoring mental health doesn't make it go away. You're like, these negative mental health things will not disappear. They're not just gonna disappear. So like forcing them out and like moving on, I don't know. Am I, I'm rambling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. What this comes back to, the reason why I'm recording this video is I wanted to talk um, openly about why I didn't do that other video that I was, that was more of a rant. This is more the point, I guess. 
I don't know. Today was supposed to be a video that I do plan on uploading either next week or sometime soon. I'll tell you what it is because I want you to follow along and watch it later. But the reason why I didn't is because Sunday was a really bad mental health day for me. I don't even know 100% what happened. Uh, I don't know, I really don't. Kind of like almost had a panic attack, which was very strange. I'm going, like I said, I'm going through like a lot of health issues right now that I'm having to deal with. I think my cat just smashed his own head in. I'm going through a lot of like health issues that are exacerbating my anxiety. And it really just like kind of overwhelmed me on Sunday, which was the day I was planning on recording half of the video. Cause I feel like it's a two day video I need to record. I needed Sunday to just relax. I went and laid in bed and watched Netflix. And then Damien is like the best boyfriend ever. He like asked me what he could do for me. And I was like, you know, I just need to like lay down. He came in there with me and we like watched Netflix and stuff. And so he like the best boyfriend ever. <laughs> but I needed that time and forcing myself through that would not have worked. Um, I was like on the verge of like a panic attack and I haven't had one in so long. So it's kind of like scary. When it comes to writing and mental health in particular, like you need to be able to address when you're having issues. You need to recognize it, know that it's happening. And I don't think you should be so hard on yourself if you do need to take a day off. If anybody tries to comment below and says like, well, that's counterintuitive to what you said earlier about how like you should like, don't give up on, I'm not saying to give up. I'm not saying that you should take a day off and like move on to a new project. I'm saying that like, you can be in love with a project and hate it and have a horrible day like mental health wise. And you can take that day off and you can go back to that project. It doesn't have to be the end of the world. And I just feel like there's like this all or nothing mentality right now or what I've noticed. Maybe it's just the one person, I don't know. Maybe I'm blowing this up. I think that people in creative capacities tend to deal with mental health issues more often. I don't know if this is like a real statistic, but it feels to me like creative people tend to be more in touch with their emotions. And so that tends to lend themselves to having to deal with things like depression and anxiety and like especially social anxiety. I know a lot of people turn to the internet when they have social anxiety because it's easier. Like I'm one of those people. Anxiety, my social anxiety has gotten much better since I've been medicated. I don't have as much issues with dealing with people in life, dealing, that sounds bad, like talking to people in real life and like making appointments and stuff like that. When I was in college, for instance, I couldn't even, at the cafeteria, I couldn't even go up and get food by myself. I used to make my friend Katie go up with me because I was like, hey, you want food? You want to go up with me? And like, she'd be like, I don't want anything else. I'm like, you want to go up with me though, right? Because I couldn't even do that. I felt like everyone was staring at me. I don't know why, why where this is the where this tangent's going off to. I just was having a really bad day. <laughs> like I said, that was a two day video that needed to be recorded. And so I couldn't get that done. At least not to the capacity that I wanted it to be done. And I feel like the kind of video it is, it, it needs two days. And I didn't want to diminish the quality, kind of like an experiment. I didn't want to diminish that just to get a video up on time. I felt like to be more open and honest, take a day off, but I took that day off and I feel like people need to, they need to recognize when they're having a bad day. It's okay to take a day off. It's okay to take a week off from your project if you need it. It's okay to not be in love with your stuff 24 seven. I, I just don't feel like we should pressure ourselves so hard when it comes to writing because I get it. I totally 100% get it that if you wanna make this your career, you need to take it seriously. And I feel like people that say like, to take it seriously, you need to be doing this like every day or like blah, 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 like really hardcore, that's total bullshit because it's not that black and white. It's not that easy, especially when it comes to mental health. Like it's not, you do this or you do this and that's it. Like it's not, it, that's not how it works. It just kind of pisses me off um, that I've been seeing this lately. And I felt the need to talk about it. I feel like mental health is something that I care passionately about because I do suffer from things. And I know so many um, friends and family that also suffer from things. And it just means a lot to me that mental health is taken seriously. And I feel like it's not in a lot of cases. I feel like, especially this last few years, and especially in the writing and reading community online, it's been like coming up more and more often. So it is being, it is slowly being addressed more in a more positive light. But when I see things like, if you weren't in love with your manuscript, move on. Like that crap just pisses me off. I and I felt the need to talk about it. it. It probably didn't make a lot of sense, but I felt the need to kind of get it off my chest. I do care passionately about mental health issues. Again, I don't know if I articulate myself the best about mental health issues. If it's something you're interested in, my sister Laura makes videos about all kinds of things, but she often talks about her mental health um, journey and she's like way better at explaining herself than I am. So if that's something you're interested in, I always link her channel in the description below. She's very open about mental health and like any questions you would have. And she's like, like I said, way better at articulating it than I am. Thank you for watching this if you made it this far and thank you for sticking with me. I will be having a writing vlog coming out on Thursday. That one might be a little short too, because like I said, bad mental health day, so I haven't been doing a lot of writing, but there will be some writing in that video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see all that stuff and I'll see you all in the next video.